All right. It is time once again for Caesar 3. Oh, yes. I don't think the audio from the game was on at all last time, so I'm going to change that this time, I think. I think that would be good. All right, let's see if we can knock a mission out. I don't, I haven't really thought ahead enough to think what I would do if I lost a mission. I, I don't know if I would play it again, right then and there. If I'd wait, the possibilities are endless. I have two options. All right, that was nice and loud. My favorite. All right, I'm naming all of these levels military. And I should probably switch over to the game. All right, so we had some objective or something. Uh, speed's a little high. All right, let's check it out. So we need 4,000 people living in our city. Um, we need to not piss off Caesar. We need zero piece and zero... No, we need 25 piece. 25 whole piece. 20 whole prosperity. And a whopping 40 culture. Which is... I mean... You know how hard it is to get culture. 40 culture. Alright, so I have no idea what our natural resources are. Let's, um, let's not even look. Let's just see what we can sell. So they like to buy yellow things in bowls and green jars, and they like to buy shields. And nobody likes to buy very much. That's a shame. All right. Well, let's start doing it. All right, we need access on the river, although it's a little strange. I mean, it looks like we're on the coast, but I don't see a coast. So let's build some housing. Oh yeah. I don't play this game optimally. I just play this game. So this will probably not be pretty. All right, so reservoir. Let's see just how far that goes. Let's get a firefighter out there. Engineer. It's gonna be great. We're gonna have the best city in the whole wide uh, relatively small Roman Empire. But you know what? There's only about six cities in the empire, so it's not hard to have the best one. And these are all stupidly placed, but we'll spread them out later if we need to. We need to start selling stuff, and we need to start selling stuff now, because we don't have that much money. And money is everything. So so let's get this going. Another prefecture. Another engineer's post. All right, so they buy weapons, oil, and vegetables. I don't really like storing vegetables in warehouses. It's messy. So let's not do that. Let's, uh, let's make olive oil instead. And I really stupidly put my houses as far as possible from the farmland so uh, this will be great we're gonna do some more deforestation no city no city would be complete without deforestation all right let's grow some wheat some vegetables and some olives yeah there we go. 
All right. So we're going to have some people live over here in the farm slums, right up against the farms here. No one likes this, but somebody will live here. Another prefixture to make, the, make sure the farms don't burn to the ground. Another engineer's post to make sure the farms don't collapse. Oh, Neptune loves the fact that we built a temple to him. He's so nice. All right. Got a granary. Well, it's like a little metropolis. All right, we're going to do that little cheat. i put some gatehouses up. If it'll let us. There we go. And this enables us to stop walkers. Oh, wait. The crops just grew instantly. I love that. Um, again, this is... Uh, it's an interesting way to handle... Uh, influence of different buildings in the city. So you could you could do the old Sim City route. Okay, this is going to look really dumb. Oh, great. Um, you could do the Sim City route where a building has a radius. Oh, people don't like living here. I guess it's time to start paying them lots of money. Um, you can do the radius kind of setup, and that's great. And everything. I mean, that works. I, I think you could call SimCity a successful game if you ignore the latest one. Um, it is a successful series, that is. But uh, it's a little boring. It's not quite, it doesn't really come alive. What you really need for a city to come alive is a bunch of brain dead idiots that randomly choose to walk any direction that they please when they get to an intersection because that is how real cities work and you just don't get that from radius radius i radii radii okay we're short by 39 people and people do not like i haven't built a market yet I'm really not that bad at this game. I'm just uh, not new to this whole streaming thing. I am new to this streaming thing. I'm not used to this streaming thing. So it's a little tricky. All right. I'm going to dare to turn on the sound. so relaxing and peaceful when it doesn't repeat itself every three seconds. So, we got our nice little city up and running. It's time to start putting people to work doing things that make me money. So we're going to grow olive oil because somebody said they wanted olive oil. So let's get right on that some more farm slums. You know, though, they get these nice little gardens. It's not all that bad. And then we need a warehouse. And the great part about this warehouse is that it's nowhere near the dock, so it'll take forever to bring things to the dock when we sell them. Uh, there we go. Now we need to make the olive oil. Sweet. 500 whole people. Alright, I think we should build another housing district. I have no idea if this is going to work. This might have been a bad idea. It's too late now. Something really important just happened and I missed a disease. See, we built a hospital. Is it not staffed? Not even close. Oh, we're on loop again. Alright. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> this is a feature. This is a great feature. It's, 
it's like, uh, just in case, you know. Just did that. Dun, dun. All right, some fountains. At some point, I'll snap and turn it off, but I'm not there yet. All right, let's put this here. Here, uh, another prefect, another engineer, some of the markets, lots of markets, some bathes, and I don't know why that market didn't go up. We're about to ah! scream that. By sheep, in fact. I'm waiting for uh, somebody else to scream at us, too. There we go. Thanks. Now, uh, we should probably open that trade route while we still have money. Yeah. Let us export all of the olive oil. No one here needs it. That's actually pretty accurate. Alright, sweet. Let's put some gardens here. Some beautiful, beautiful gardens. I actually think the gardens in this game are uh, awful. I, I never liked how the gardens are. Nice. Wonderfully loud. The song changed. Um, <laughs> I hope you like this part of the song. I like this part of the song, it's my favorite part. Right. I, I, a nice little theater. Let's build an actor colony. There we go. I uh, misplaced the bathhouse, it can't go there. It's gotta go next to the water. But you know what can go there? Is a tax collector. Alright, there we go. Hmm, good. We're having problems with this. There we go! Love this tree line. This is great. Um, I actually do like the way trees look in this game. It's uh, it's nice. It's a good aesthetic. I know the graphics are uh, a little wanting. It's about 20 years old, but um, I think it still looks pretty good. It's, it's good art style. I don't know why people aren't, uh, oh, oh. What a school do they? Alright, so we've got, uh, this wonderful city going on. I don't know what it's called. What's our city called? Syracuse. So, uh, we, we have our, our, our little district up here. Self-contained happiness. And we got a little district down here. Some more self-contained happiness. It's a beautiful place to live. Come and live here. I'm really sick of those sheep. I think I know what I'm going to do about it. Yeah, you stay over there. You stay over there. Yeah. Yeah, you like that. You stay in your little hole. Road to Rome obstructed. Of course it is. Uh. Alright, let's try this. Alright, how's that? Much better. Yeah, you can't block off the roads in or out. Uh, the game doesn't like that. That's getting really old. That, that beautiful measure of music. So we got our, our things working here, growing 
olives and making olive oil, it is time to make weapons. Which is probably a good idea because we're going through the military campaign and just seems like something we might need. So let's make lots of weapons. Let's make all the weapons. All of the weapons are going to be made. Yes, all of them. And we'll put a little, uh... Oh, that's not good. Enemies at the door. You know, they're a year away, but they're at the door. We should be ready for them. Alright, so I'm building two forts. You're kind of limited in this game. You got, uh, you can build six. And legionaries are the best. Uh, although there's no visible statistics, so I don't know how much best they are. Uh, but the problem is legionaries take weapons, which means you need a working weapon production chain or you need to be buying them. And they are very expensive. And... You need to um, you need to have somebody who can run to wherever the invasion is and deal with the problem, because legionaries are really slow, and when they get there, they'll win. But they might not get there. Oh, I'm having trouble finding this. There we go. All right, somebody yesterday suggested about a two to one ratio. We're gonna try a five to three ratio. Just because. Oh, we also need a barracks. Of course. Ooh. Would you hear that? The song's working. Oh, man. It's great. I love this. This music is so good. There we go. Yeah, you upgrade those tents. I gave you plazas. All right, they don't have food yet. That's really interesting, because the city has a lot of food, as far as I can tell. That's fascinating. Maybe. Maybe. No. See, sometimes you can fish. And I, I kind of wish we were fishing. The great. Because there's no farmland up here. This, there's nothing. Oh, that's so loud. All right, we don't export for a while. That's great. So we just set up a, a production chain so that we could sell things. And the first thing that happened was that we got a demand for all of the goods that we've made. Ha. Wonderful. All right, things are going well. Oh! Alright, that's the sound of crime in the city. So let's take a look, look at the, uh, the seedy underbelly. So right here, this is where the crime lord lives. Put another little police station down. See how he likes living next to that. So just like in real life, when the police walk past your house, all the crime goes away. And then over time, slowly your crime charges. But if the police walk by again, in a reasonable amount of time, the crime will go away again. iron. Alright. I, I think that whip noise means that we have a soldier that's been trained, but I really don't know. Because there a soldier was just trained and there was no whip noise. Alright, we, we're having problems here.
Alright, we somehow need to come back from the red, because every year we're in the red, Caesar gets more and more pissed. And if you remember, we need him to be 20 on the not pissed off scale. We've already deteriorated a little bit here, so... That's a problem. Because if Caesar gets pissed, then Caesar sends Caesar's legions. We don't want to fight Caesar's legions. We should build some Equites. Also, uh, no, we should we should buy some of them when we have money to do so. So the nice part about this game that it has. Um, Mind. We're going to do the not nice part of this game first. So they invaded on the opposite side of the city from the forts. These are uh, Greek soldiers. Yes, we're in one of the uh, one of the early wars here. It's a lot of dudes. This shouldn't be a problem, but it... Oh, good. Thank you. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, you come and try that again. Mars loves me. Yeah. But we still have fires in our side. I don't even know where that was, so there we go. So, back to... Uh, Back to the last thing I was talking about. What I like about this game, and SimCity doesn't really have this going for it, um, at least not the older SimCities if I remember right. Maybe the maybe SimCity 4 had this to a degree, but um, in the SimCity games you build houses and commercial districts and industrial districts and all that stuff, and uh, it might gain in wealth, and that's great. Uh, and then you'll get skyscrapers and all that sort of thing. But what's nice in this game is that instead of having a couple of tiers and, and densities and that sort of thing, you've got, um, I don't know, like 15 stages of houses? Where is it? There's a, there's a chart somewhere. There we go, society. So you got your tent dwellers. And, um... Then you got your palace dwellers, and, and they don't pay taxes, or they do pay taxes. They don't do work, but they pay lots of taxes. So what's nice is that as you uh, build up your city, this red line kind of evens out. And you've got, um, you've got people living in different types of houses. And it just, it makes the city look, um, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't make the city look alive at all, but it, it definitely gives you a, a goal. In the SimCity games, you're always trying to... Um, I don't know, not go broke. Yeah. yeah, that's great. I guess you're not trying to go broke in this game, too. Um, but more than anything... Oh, you know what we can do? I don't want to do this, but we... We could give ourselves some money to get out of debt. We have our own personal holdings there. May as well. Um, you, in this game you have a, a very fixed objective and it is get the houses to evolve and keep them evolved. See this guy right here? See how he keeps bouncing back and forth? That is a sign that this is badly planned. And it probably is uh, to some degree. Y you want stability. And then with stability, you'll end up with high-tax-paying housing. And isn't that what we all want? Really, deep down. So let's make this uh, section a little more inefficient by branching off. Uh, we need pottery. Hope you like this measure, because it's back. 
So what I'm doing here is making sure that only the good stuff makes it into the warehouse. It's an efficiency thing. It's the one thing I know how to do. Alright, so we want... Uh, I don't know if we want three clay pits, but we're going to have three clay pits. And we're going to have a bunch of pottery places. Because I think we have enough workers. Yeah, we have we have some serious unemployment here. If I had one relatively big criticism about this game, it's that there's not enough jobs for people to work to support the kind of population that you're tasked with achieving. Um, you can get around that on a lot of levels because you can build those palaces, which effectively removes huge numbers of workers from your city and turns them into giant sponges that soak up money and then deposit it in your forums. But... It's expensive to set those up, it takes a long time, and on a lot of these military levels, I'm going to assume, having not played them, that it's uh, discouraged, or at least not as easy to do. Alright, now that we've got pottery, you'll see that rolled out. Day would be good. There we go. Now they live in slightly bigger houses. So this house can hold uh, 68 people. But this one, or this one can hold 76 people. Because the rooms are slightly bigger. Alright, not enough entertainment to be found. I can fix that. I got, I got this. I know what you want. You want an amphitheater, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, the theater. Ooh, right there. There you go. Uh, let's build exactly one gladiator school, because I don't think I have money for two. Hmm, good. There we go. Alright, so they want a clinic or a hospital. Now, it's it's amazing to me that the section of the city that got its very own hospital had an outbreak of some disease, and this area down here seems to be immune. But uh, they still want access. So let's give them some access. There we go. Hmm. Enemies at the door. In later levels, we'll build walls and towers and all the good stuff that makes it look like a city, but um, right now we really don't need it. Are we not exporting weapons? I'm confused. We seem to be. Right, our unemployment is still abysmal. These people don't like living next to productive structures because they are lazy, so we'll give them some plazas so that they feel less lazy. Alright. Now that the music is working, it's a little loud. take care of. Uh, we still don't have 40 culture. Alright, that'll go up. That'll go up. We have no control over these, really. I mean, not enough to make a difference right now. This is the big one, so. Libraries it is.
let's build a whole row of libraries. And inevitably, they'll also want academies. So let's build a bunch of those too. Theaters. Well, that's good. So maybe we'll actually sell some of these weapons. Let's put a theater down here by the farms. Which you can work and watch a show at the same time. Let's put a theater next to that theater. What else do we need? Oh, there we go. That was a bump. I, I do not understand this one. But that's okay. Alright, so prosperity and peace. We just basically sit and wait at this point. Alright, when we got the message in March, and it's October, so... We don't need to send these guys out just yet, but a little fun fact, a little, little Roman historic trivia for you. Um, it takes almost a full month to cross a typical Roman city. So we'll need to remember that when February rolls around next year and uh, have our soldiers ready to go. We've employed all of the unemployed people as tenured professors so that the education of our young, um, well, yeah, yeah, young, um, you know, can be overseen by the best and brightest. Apparently, education in ancient Rome was awful, and Marcus Aurelius, everyone's favorite philosopher emperor, um, thought it was one of the things that made him good that he had a homeschooled education. But in my city, we don't do that. We have a one teacher per student ratio. And we drill you. Alright, so it's March. Enemies are a little late. So we should get our troops moving so that they'll be there by the end of the month. Tip! There it is. Yeah, the current date is a month after they left their barracks to the other side of the city. I don't know where they're coming from, but we're gonna we're gonna camp out on this hill here. It is a nice hill. We'll put a little road down. No, no we're not. No, we're not. Alright, where did they come from? Oh of course they did. Well, why wouldn't they? What? It's going to take me a month to get back down here. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Alright. Here we go. Yep, here it is. It's, it's June now. Remember that I had these guys leave, walk up that hill, and come back, and it took three months for that process. Shields. Can't have that. Oh, we're so close! Um, and everything but the population. I just realized how much of a dismal failure our population is. Um, I don't know if we can feed that many people. It's 
a lot of mouths. I guess we don't need that farm for olives. That's great. So, we need to feed 2,000 people. Oh, wow. That's, uh... <laughs> oh, I love this game. This is my favorite. <laughs> Why did you destroy the aqueduct? Uh... Oh, that's... That's great. This is a good game. This is a great game. Um, apparently if you block that exit to the city, uh, not only does the game open a path back up, it just randomly deletes things out of your city. You know, for a challenge. See, you're so stupid that you blocked off the exit. So we're going to make it extra hard for you. So we lost 700 people in about 20 minutes of, of in-game time. Alright, we need more houses. Uh, which means we're probably going to need to import some food. Which is awful. plan for this. We put a gatehouse right here. Uh, and then we're going to have a super fancy district of houses that can be really, really big. We put something like this. Something like that. Build some houses. So beautiful. Put a reservoir right here, and a reservoir right... Oh, there's a tree there. Right about here. Oh, yeah. Another one there. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. That's not going to work, but this one. Are there better ways to do what I just did? Certainly. Without a doubt. That's that's about the extent of the reflection that I'm going to do on that, though. Alright, we need some gardens. And because I'm... Um, not exactly a wealthy guy right now, we're not going to fill that in. However, I don't want it burning to the ground, so we will hire some of these little firefighters. And, of course, need some markets. And so he's accepting the meat, and he needs to not accept the meat. Oh, we're on that thing again. This song isn't quite as graceful when it stumbles back into itself. You are that Caesar hates me. That's amazing though, I could have sworn that I had money last year.
So now we're just waiting. These people need food, or they're not going to build bigger houses. And until they build bigger houses, uh, we're not going to win the level. Oh, we need 1,500 more people. We can do this. I don't think I need to build anything else. But I'm going to. Um, I know we're in debt, up to our eyeballs. I know that's been the theme here in this uh, particular city. Place it. There we go. Uh, okay. Right, they, they'll probably want a school or something stupid like that. Oh, entertainment. Yeah, I can do that too. Right. Abysmal unemployment rates. That is one way to do it. They still don't have food. This is amazing. This is incredible. I'm going to guess. If I go and look it up, that, uh, yeah, we, oh, we do, we produce more than we eat. That's, a, that's incredible, because we don't have any food, and we never do. What else can you tell me about my city? The people love me, and it's probably because I pay them to. Enemies are closing, I don't remember that, but, um. Uh, this is a military mission. Uh, food levels are low. Yeah. All right, no change in finances. I don't exactly know what that means. Uh, people are immigrating to the city. And gold darn it, they should. Look at all this. Tent property. Right, we just need to get out of debt. Alright, that might fix the music. Nope. We're still in our loop. I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so the bad's happening. Yeah, what did we get our little letter? From the Caesar. City's still in debt. All right, we have a couple of months left. Before we piss him off some more. Everything else looks great. And the beautiful part about this game is that you don't have to finish the level with any level of uh, fiscal solvency going on. So as long as another yeah, 950 people move in the city in the next couple months, which looks increasingly unlikely. Uh, we can be in debt to our eyeballs, and it doesn't matter. Yeah, they still have food. There's just not a lot on this level. Let's import. Uh, hmm. 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 Can we? No. Nope. Now we can export. Now we're we're stuck. We. Yeah, it is. Thanks for that. It's also um. It's also starving. Uh, 
I'm I'm not a merciful god at all, actually. Uh, I just don't have a means of killing my own citizens, so I can't do it. You. Ah, oh, that's great. Is that blisteringly loud to you too? Yeah, I'm tempted, but you don't win the level when you kill everybody. Hey, we're out of debt. All right, so we're uh, we're fluctuating. Yeah, that's Caesar, and he likes to yell. Um, I have no way to turn the volume of that down because it doesn't seem to m correspond to any of these settings. So I could turn all of the volume off in the game, and you'd you'd think it was quiet, and then your speakers would blast. You again, or whatever he, whatever he says. Stormy seas. That's good. All of our food and money comes from overseas, so it's good that we can't rely on that right now. All right. What can we do? Well, we do have people uh, showing up soon for a party. Scribble, scribble. Yes. Um, another another historical fact. I've I've said a couple of them tonight. Um, in ancient Rome, the cities floated on the abyss. That was before the world had fully formed. And so, when Rome claimed to be civilization, they weren't lying. Quite the decision to pack up and leave where you live and move to a different city, um, because there's there's no guarantee that you'll you'll exit the abyss. We need four thousand people to exit the abyss. All right, time to look at census. Good, good. Yeah, that's where the aqueducts got destroyed. Yeah, that every city was. Until George Washington came and united the world. Or the states or something. Into one. He defeated the abyss in combat. All of the noise, all at once. All right. This is going to be great. <laughs> Apparently people don't move to your city when you're actively being invaded.
Alright. Yeah, just stand there. I'm sure they'll run out of spears. Alright, you go home. You go home. Yeah, we won. The abyss is back open. <laughs> Not only is the music repeating every measure, uh, but the soldier shout that happens when you issue a command is just stuck on a loop. It's the single most piercing noise in your city that you can have. And it's on permanent repeat. Uh. I think it's just screaming, ah. It's a very disciplined ah, uh, though. I mean, there's no... Yeah. Alright. Yeah, there's no food here. Oh, I got it. Yeah, get those vegetables. Do it. He's done screaming, though. He got it out of his system. It's the weirdest thing. You'll get these sounds on repeat, and then you'll forget that they happen. And you don't even notice when they stop. I mean, this could be done in 30 seconds. Just need that, that critical point when enough food makes it up here that these people are happy. Everyone knows that if you don't have a convenience store down the street, you live in a tent. And our convenience store is erratic. Once a convenience store gets built, you can live in a blue brick hut. And then schools mean that you can have orange shingles. Yeah. I'm going to try a little experiment here. It's not working. so frustrating. Uh, an intelligent layout to the farms probably would have helped in retrospect. I guess I don't need olives anymore. I mean, meat's a little strong. Eh? 
Maybe. Maybe. No. Very no. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, you like that. Very good. Stormy seas. could do is just say that we don't accept vegetables down here. It is time to see what happens on the high speed. Ah! Alright, that's beyond inefficient. The unemployment rate is astronomical. Time to build a lot of police stations. Many police stations. Uh, this is the wrong game for astronomers. A sequel has astronomers, and then you could you could test that theory. In in Rome, when the unemployment rate got high, they just built more police stations. And, and I'm a Roman. Half of the unemployed peasants are now policemen. I, I will play the sequel eventually. Alright. Quickly. Quickly. Quickly, quickly do something. I love that noise. Alright. It's a mistake to have this speed when there's an invasion. We, we might lose this one. This might be the end. Because I didn't realize they would send that many soldiers. I, I actually have a very hard time believing that there's a fire in the city because the policemen are also firefighters. And every person in the city is a firefighter. What could possibly be on fire? A police station, fire station. Of course. Ah, uh, it takes two months to get to this part of the city. Here be the end of the world. Will 
the city survive. That is the end. <laughs> Crap. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure Rome is furious. I'm... I'll pay you back later. Alright. So, uh... Hard mode is... is dead serious. It is hard. And it will kill you. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, just the presence of a Greek in a Roman structure would cause the structure to collapse. That's that's another known, little, little known fact. I mean, most people know it. Smart people know it. So we're just going to watch them destroy my city. And I, I mean, it's incredible. You know, normally... Yes, yeah, it's, it's great sound effects. Uh, normally, you'd, you'd think maybe they'd take control of the city, but not the Greeks. Yeah, I'll repay you. No problem. I think, they, I think they're leaving. I think they taught whatever lesson they wanted to teach, and they're leaving. Um... I think that just about does it. I think that's the end of the stream. Uh, next time... Next time... We'll build a little closer to the farmland. And... Um, maybe build some walls? Maybe another fort? Uh, maybe, maybe lay out the city? Uh, in a way that corresponds to reality? Instead of whatever this is? And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Let's, um, let's just end this. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, you can come take the Caesar, sorry, city, city, you can come take the city, Caesar. Come and get it. Oh, it's so beautiful. No trees. Just... Silence and death. The sound of peace. That's it. I don't even have enough money to spell something out of roads. That really is the end. Well, Thanks for watching.